TLO, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch. We are live. We are live. So you can uh, leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Man, let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. Uh, don't forget, we do got merch. We also got Patreon, where we watch stuff Monday through Friday. Um, and we also got uh, Twitch.com. That's where you go if you want to replay lives if you miss them. Um, this is, what's his name? Randy. He's a U he's a United Kingdom born person and he's apparently in America and he's trying Texas barbecue for the first time. Now the reason I'm doing this is because I'm genuinely excited for this dude. I know there ain't no good barbecue in the UK. I know there's not. There's no way. There's just no way. And I've talked to several people that said there's no good barbecue in the UK. Like comparatively speaking. Like there's no there's probably got a lot of stuff that we don't have that y'all got that's phenomenal. And just barbecue is just that for us when it comes to y'all. <laughs> like, I know it's not good. I know y'all put y'all best foot forward in effort. But it ain't good. Talk to me, Randy. I'm a little bit all over the place today, but the plan is... I've been to Texas a few times, okay, and I've never been to have barbecue. I've just never done it. So everyone's recommending me to go to this place called Ter Terry's Black... Terry Black's Barbecue, I think it's called. So I'm gonna go there and try that first of all today. I did just come here for a slice of pizza to like, you know, um, soak up the hangover or whatever. Or I, I, pizza in Texas? Uh, okay. I you know, whatever you wanna call it. But then I forgot about the barbecue. So I'm gonna go to the barbecue. And then there's a, uh, I'm not gonna gym yet. I might go later, but I'm gonna go and walk around. There's a, there's a river here. It's like a two hour walk to get all the way around it. So I thought, for like the main bit of exercise today, I'll just go and do that. It seems like a really nice thing to do and for the vlog as well. Although it is gonna rain, but I'm British. I don't really care. Um, Facts. Well, first off, I'm gonna try this barbecue. I never have done it before, and it needs to be done. Also, I just love the aesthetic here as well. It just looks like it's just so sick. Look at all this. Everyone on the Discord has been wanting me or asking me or like literally shouting at me to go and get a hat, like a Texas hat. And oh, there's a hat shop right here, so I'm tempted to do it. But I'm thinking like, I can't put it in my suitcase because it's gonna ruin it because my suitcase is already full. And I'm not gonna wear it on the plane back, right? <laughs> like, I don't really need a hat or want a hat, but. I'll check it out and we'll see. Maybe. Maybe I'll do it. Okay. Maybe. Here it is, look. Do I do it? That is the question. Do I do it? Texas hat shop. Also, I'm really confused, right? Because I've been looking at things to do in Austin and everything that I keep reading about always recommends going to see the I Love You So Much mural. Mural. I'm not going to lie to you, Randy. I appreciate the tour of Texas. But let's, can we get to the barbecue? Because I'm happy for you. I'm genuinely happy for you. But I just want to see this moment. That's it. We own, okay. Okay, it wasn't too long. I've never personally had Texas barbecue, but Chicago is like, they have every genre of food and they do it well. There is Texas style barbecue, but there's also Midwest style barbecue, which I really like. There's, there's levels to barbecue in the, across America. Like, there's different regions and things that like that. That barbecue warm you up. And sober you up. Please. How'd I do it? Yeah, How'd this work? Typical no barbecue joint. Oh, you. Nah, no, no alcohol for me. No alcohol at all. All right, I'm going to put the camera away and then update you as I go. This place is serious, man. This is a serious place. Probably I've never done this. It's the first time doing barbecue. Let's go. Is this a chain in Texas? I have no idea what to order though. So you pick a side. Hmm. Green corn sounds cool. Mac and cheese sounds cool. Green corn does not sound cool. What are you talking about? Cool as all. Well. I would go mac and cheese. I'm too sure. I asked her. You got potato salad? Like what's the normal amount to get? And she said this. Like. It's like $60. I'm not sure if she thought I was eating on my own or like with the family or something. By the way, I'm sure I'm doing this wrong, you know. No, yeah, you're in Texas. Everything is big in Texas. I'm Balls. sure like I'm going to get comments of people saying, oh, you're not doing it right, you know, but I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know. I'm not from here. I'm on my own. I'm, I'm riding solo, you know. But let's try this. Let's try this. Okay. Oh, my God. Pick it up with your hands, my boy. You fork a knife in it? You got to get that all as one bite. I got brisket, right? No, you did it wrong. 
This has, you got to get the fat and the meat at the same time. Pause. So you left the fat at the bottom. The smoke ring down here, down here, and then there's some fat up top, and then there's the meat right there. You got to get it all in one bite. That's why you don't use fork and knife. Me personally. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. It's gonna be good. It's still. Melting your mouth, literally. Pause. Oh boy. And beef ribs. Bro, pick it up by the bone, dog. Randy. Try. And y'all ask me and on Twitch, like I'm not on Twitch on on um on uh uh, uh what's that TikTok? Y'all be asking me, oh how come you don't use a fork and knife? Because <laughs> for what? <laughs> Everything is finger food here. <laughs> It's good, ain't it? Talk to me, oh Randy. My God. That is amazing. Wow. What the hell? I ain't gonna lie, you're gonna piss me off with this fork and knife, but continue. It's my first time, man. How about, haven't I had this before? Alright, nah, guys. I'm gonna enjoy this and get back to you. Go ahead. They also told me, by the way, there's a free tour of all like the. Smokehouse in the back, so I'm gonna go try it out after. Take the camera and vlog it. What a day this has turned out to be. Let's go. By the way, I'm struggling to finish this. <laughs> she gave me so much. Look at that. Oh, it's so good though. You didn't even eat the macaroni and cheese or the string beans. You gotta tell us how that was. The macaroni, I'm not gonna lie, it looked trash. I'm just being real. String beans, okay. They're string beans. You can't really go wrong with them. But me, I would have probably chose baked beans. And now that I see this macaroni, I wouldn't have chosen it. I would have chosen like some coleslaw maybe if y'all got coleslaw. Not coleslaw, I'm tweaking potato salad. I meant potato salad. Those are the two sides I would have picked. It's so good though. But like, okay. Should I do it? Should I keep going? All right, that, that, that. Okay, so although it actually- You need to eat barbecue like a, like a, like a nomad. Just pick it up with your hands. It is unreal. It's amazing. I cannot finish it. I cannot. I've tried my hardest. I'm so full. I feel like I'm going to burst, man. But it's really good. I asked for one normal size. I guess this is... That's normal. I'm clearly not getting that bean with my fork, am I? Okay, anyway, what I'm trying to say to you guys is I can't finish it. And I feel bad for wasting it. If anyone wants this, come. I'll leave it here. <laughs> Take it to go. What you mean? What are you talking about? Do y'all not have, like, to-go boxes in the UK? <laughs> but no. Anyway, right. Cheers. Cheers. Here we go. I wish I would pay $60 and leave that on the table. You got me bent. I'm taking everything home. I'm going to go home and make a, a short rib sandwich later. You know what I'm saying? You make the food here? <laughs> That's a stupid question. I'm doing all the barbecue up here. He said you make the food here. Well, you funny. <laughs> Come on, Randy. Today. Okay. I got two more of these in the back though. Wow. Okay. Five of these 1,000 gallon smokers all day. Wow. He sounds just like Hank wow. Hill. Good, I just tried it now. My first time having barbecue. What in, do you mean first time having barbecue? Well, I'm from the UK. I'm from the UK. Well, we have barbecue yeah, in the UK, yeah, but the it's different. It's about using what you got. It's okay, not sure, to say, sure. Like, this is how you do it. You know? No, yes, it is. Stop lying to them. <laughs> yes, it is. It's about using the local wood, the local proteins, and the indigenous cooking methods of the region. That's why it's always a different. Okay, different, sure. No matter where. In America, I don't even think they got. I don't even know. Like I don't know. They, they, I, don't, I heard there's no good barbecue. That's all I'm gonna say. Here you go. Yeah. So here, our local wood is post oak. Okay. This wood is so abundant. They say we'll run out of cows before we run out of this tree. Wow. We'll burn up two of these cages on a slow day, three on a busy day. Every Friday, they bring us 18 more cages of post oak. <laughs> wow. They got that name post oak because farmers and sellers, cowboys used to use that tree to make fence posts because it's really strong, goes really straight. Bro, sound like Bobby Boucher. Yeah and the branches shoot off at the top. Uh -huh. We used the wood because of very mild smoke content wood. This wood being the reason that smoke's not the first thing that you taste. Yeah, he back there cooking. I know he can cook. I know that stuff. I know the meat portion of the food there is great if he cooking it. Barbecue. Sure, sure. So, uh, we smoked the brisket for 12 hours, the beef rib 8 hours. Anybody you see with, with this and the connect right here and then it don't got this part, they can cook. 
the pork rib six hours, the house made sausage, and the turkey 100 four hours. And we always have a team of guys here yeah. barbecuing 24 hours a day. We never stop. <laughs> really. Yeah, we never stop any day, any time. We always got the guys here barbecuing. Awesome. Uh, right now, I... H, have you ever, like, listen, I've had, there's people... This, I've talked to people that have been to America and to the UK. Well, obviously, they're from the UK. And they've been to America and they had the barbecue. And they had American barbecue, Florida-style barbecue. And they said there's no comparison. Now that they, now they know that barbecue in the UK is not good because it doesn't taste nothing like... You know what I'm saying? And I'm not saying that, 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 that y'all barbecue is not good. It's just when you've tasted barbecue that's great... And you go taste something that's not as good. Then what am I supposed to say? Just like the the girl who told me the barbecue was great, <laughs> that y'all barbecue wasn't good. She said it. Her palate was used to the UK barbecue, and she had this, and her eyes was opened. She had an epiphany. <laughs> you feel me? Uh, Twenty nine brisket on two. They went on at six this morning. Then I got outside. Oh, okay. My bad. All right. Three. Uh, it went on at 11 o'clock today. Like I said, it's going to smoke for four hours. Come on and check it out. Awesome. It's an all-day process, too, too, which is crazy. So this brisket right here, like I said, it went on at six this morning. So it's a seven and a half hours into the 12-hour cook. Uh -huh. uh, eventually, when I get them perfect, I'll put them in this butcher paper right here. Yep. And I'll spin them 180 degrees so the flat can face the fire. Right now I'm doing the big end towards the fire. Because it's big, it's going to need more time to get there. Um, like I said, I'm going to make... This dude is a, a chemist. I, I knew he could cook. Everything's perfect before I put it in that paper. Sure. By that I mean the bark set up, the fats rendered, the colors exactly how I like it. Everything's how I want it before I put it in that paper. Um, people always want to know, well, what temp, what time? And I could tell you a temp or a time, but I'm not, I'm going to lead you astray if I'm doing it. Yeah, yeah, this got to come from the heart. You know what I'm saying? So it's a feel thing. It is a feel thing. So uh, every couple hours I get in here and I pick them all up one by one and just rearrange them according to how they're cooking because it's full of hot spots, full of cold spots. And the only way I can get it more evenly is to pick them up and put them where they need to be. And you pick them up with tongs, yeah? No, I would never touch them with tongs. I have gloves in my pocket. I okay. put these gloves over these gloves and then put more of these gloves on top of these gloves. And then I pick them up one by one. I'll lay out paper, set them on the paper, do whatever. If, I grab if you grab them with tongs, they probably will break apart, right? Them with tongs, they rip all this yeah, stuff yeah. apart. We have a uh, pulled beef in this joker. <laughs> you gotta grab so over here. This one, my sausage is looking like like a baby. I get it. I get it. This is all calculated. You can't just go in there and just you know tong something. You know what I'm saying? Sausage is a different game. Um, I'm not getting in here, moving it around. When I set it up, I just got set it up so none of it touches. We're using real case and so if it touches, it's not going to get the smoke. It's going to stay opaque and it's going to look gross. So main thing is, I make sure nothing touches in here Damn. when I set it up before I start it. That's what I'm so um, I have a tent stick with a sausage. It's not as much of a field game. I was bad at this. Straight smoked sauce. It just looks amazing. I don't even eat stuff shaped like that, but I, that, you know what I'm saying. But like, if they cut it up, I partake. I partake. With that brisket, it's all about feel for me. So you won't even, you won't even turn the bottom ones. I'm not gonna turn them. They're gonna get smoked perfect, just like that. I can call it a river. It's a lake, Ladybird Lake. So I'm just gonna try and do a, a loop around it, or oh, just walk for. A, an hour or two. Um. Oh, no, 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 Randy. Salute. I salute what you're doing. I congratulate you on finally getting some real barbecue in your system. Um, and thank you for sharing the the the, the journey. And I'm going to be sure when I get to the UK this year that everybody in the UK is going to get the content that they deserve. I'm getting a new camera. I've got everything, everything is going to be on point when I'm out there. I'm telling you, y'all going to get about 40, 50 vlogs. I don't, if I'm there two days, you're getting 40 to 50 vlogs on my life. TLO, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'm gone.